The last thing the Caribbean needs right now is another hurricane, and yet Hurricane Maria has formed very rapidly over the weekend. Early Monday, this was Hurricane Maria as viewed from space, bearing down upon the Leeward Islands of the Caribbean. At the time of recording, a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds near the centre of the hurricane of near 90 miles per hour. A closer look at the Leeward Islands themselves and the rainfall radar from the hurricane shows that already these spiralling bands of heavy rain are approaching the Leeward Islands and the hurricane, the centre of the hurricane, has now developed an eye, a sure sign that Maria is intensifying quickly. And it is expected over the next day or so that it will intensify further into a major hurricane as it heads towards the Leeward Islands and the rest of the Caribbean. Now, parts of the Leeward Islands and beyond could be impacted by hurricane force winds, torrential rainfall and a significant storm surge. At the start of Monday, Hurricane Maria was 100 miles east of Martinique and it is heading in a west-northwest direction. This is one possible track, but it is the case that Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis are covered by a hurricane warning currently and that means that these islands are at risk of hurricane force winds. And in fact, the National Hurricane Centre expect Hurricane Maria to become a Category 3 major hurricane and that would mean hurricane force winds in excess of 111 miles per hour. Sustained winds close to the eye of the hurricane. Now, Maria is taking a slightly further southerly track compared to Irma, and that means the northern leeward islands, such as Antigua, Barbuda, San Martin, that were heavily impacted by Irma, will be spared the worst of the winds. But the track of the most intense rainfall is a wider one and that means that for many of these leeward islands where there's a risk of significant flash flooding and mudslides with in some places 12 locally 20 inches of rainfall as well as a significant storm surge affecting parts of the leeward islands of seven feet and large waves now, the official track from the National Hurricane Centre takes Maria as a major hurricane through the Leeward Islands during Monday night and into early Tuesday before keeping Hurricane Maria as a major hurricane, that's Category 3 or above, as it heads towards Puerto Rico. Now, this is days 1 to 3, this is days 4 to 5, and the cones show the area of probable location for the eye of the hurricane and you can see how the size of the cone expands as uncertainty increases during the next few days but it is likely that parts of the Caribbean over the next few days will be impacted severely by Hurricane Maria and we are keeping a close eye on it here at the Met Office.